Hi everyone, this is Krishna Vandanapu, a business applications MVP. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will learn how to create responsive forms in Power Apps. Before we implement, let's have a look at on the output what are we going to achieve by end of this video. In this Power App, I have a gallery. Even this gallery is a responsive gallery. What do I mean by responsive gallery? When I shrink down the size of my screen, all the controls inside my gallery will automatically adjust to the size of my screen. If you want to learn how to implement this responsive gallery, I have explained in my previous video, included the link in my description. When I click on new item, it shows me the form to submit the new item. However, I want to ensure that my form is responsive so that it will give a seamless experience to the user irrespective of the device they are navigating on, which means that when I pull down the size of my screen, my controls should adjust to, to the size of my device where I am running my app. When you notice here, when I pull down the size of my screen, all the controls got wrapped into the next line. Similarly, when I have a better or a bigger screen, the controls are coming next to each other. This kind of a responsive form we will be building as part of this video. In this video, I will be explaining how to create responsive forms using forms control and using independent controls also. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, this is the best time to subscribe so that you will not miss any further learnings. I logged on to Power Apps Maker portal. Before we implement anything, let's look at the prerequisites. To implement a responsive app, you must ensure that under settings, display, scale to fit, and lock aspect ratio is disabled and lock orientation must be off. If you do not make these changes, doesn't matter how hard you try to implement, the app will never behave responsive. Let us implement a responsive form with the first approach as adding independent controls on the screen and make the form as responsive. In order to do that, I will be adding a blank screen. I have added the heading for my screen as new form with independent control. Now I have to add the container to add the controls on my screen. To add the container, click on insert controls, search for containers and select the vertical container because I want to add multiple controls on my screen to submit the details back to data source. In order to do that, I need to add all the controls one after other in multiple rows. So that we can achieve only with the help of a vertical container. Let me position my vertical container right after the label. I have provided my Y position of the container as label heading dot Y plus label heading dot height so that it will come right next to it and the width and height as App dot width height is app dot height minus label height dot height so that it will use the rest of the screen. Now I need to add independent controls in my screen. Add horizontal container because I want to see my label followed by text box, label followed by the next control. That we can do only with the help of horizontal container. Now let's go ahead and add horizontal container again insert select horizontal container when you notice my horizontal container had automatically taken the width and height of my vertical container but i don't want that to happen so turn off the flexible height on horizontal container so it automatically shrink down now i'll define the height as 80 and i will add independent controls in this horizontal container to see the orientation as like this Add a label, enable the flexible width for that label and enable the stretch on the label so it automatically consumes the same height of my container. Add a text box to read the value, enable flexible width and this time make it as center and provide the height as 55. The reason why I am not using stretch is if I use the stretch it doesn't look good on the form. Similarly, add two more controls to 
read vendor name and email id i went ahead and created two more controls also provided the proper namings for them when you notice the container had taken the complete width but it is not looking good for my controls so how you can adjust that is go to padding and say 30 pixels on the left and 30 pixels on the right padding so it will give a, a bit of space on both right and left hand side here also if you notice this text box and label are very close just enable gap width probably 10 pixel so it will provide a gap between those controls this gap will create a gap between all the controls evenly the last step what we need to do is on this horizontal container enable the wrap if you do not enable the wrap what happens is if you reduce the size of window the controls will not show up rather it will be trimmed out to avoid that enable wrap on the container the time you enable the wrap it automatically adjusts all the controls inside the container as vertical top alignment ensure that center aligned so it will come properly once that is done if you play the app and decrease the width of the screen it is wrapping down but if you notice i am losing my controls because all we did is we enabled the wrap on the container but we have not ensured that the container should increase the height when I wrap my control right to the next lane. So that how I can do is go to height here write the formula to ensure that my container height is adjusting as per the width of my screen or width of the device for the height i have created a formula as screen one dot size which is nothing but this screen size is less than four which means that if my screen size is not window screen we know the sizes are different from device to device if the size is one means mobile two and three typically works for tab and four is for a desktop screen if it is not a desktop screen i am adding the height of each and every control inside my container if not i am specifying the height of my container as 80. if you run this app and see that it automatically wrap the controls since we are adding exact size it just chopped out the vendor name text box just add a buffer of 35 pixel to see the controls properly when the user run the app on a small window screen now if i run the app and pull down the window size now i can see the controls properly the reason why i see the vendor text box not same as the email text box is we have not enabled flexible width for this guy now if i run there you go it automatically shows the size as per the screen size now let's go ahead and add two more controls on the same form if we want to add another two controls all i have to do is add one more horizontal container inside my vertical container so that it will come right next to that first line and i can add controls inside this disable the flexible height and provide the height as 80 and add the controls inside that i went ahead and added four controls in container 4 to capture designation and responsibilities to differentiate the controls in container 8 and container 9 i have added a background color for container 8 and container 9 now if i just play the app and reduce the size of the screen there you go it automatically adjusted the height of the container as per the formula also wrap the control onto the next line now if i increase the size of the screen it comes right next to each other and pull down it adjusts automatically the last thing we need to ensure in this approach is enable the vertical overflow with scroll 
if you do not enable this and keep on adding horizontal containers in this vertical container, what happens is user will not be able to navigate all the controls because it will keep on increase the size. It will run out of the screen size. If you enable scroll, app will provide an option for you to scroll through the controls. Now that we know how to create a responsive form with independent controls, let us see how we can create the same responsive form with the help of form control in Power Apps. To do that, again, I will be adding one more blank screen. This time, I am going to add horizontal container because I will be adding form directly. Horizontal container. This time also, I have changed the X and Y position of my container as right next to my heading and width as app width and height as app height minus my heading height. Now, I want to include a form in this container. Select edit form. Since I want to create a new form, I am going to change default mode of the form to new and select the data source appropriately. In my case, my data source is a SharePoint list. As and when you select the data source, it will add all the fields onto the screen. Now all the controls got added on the screen. Only one thing we need to do in this approach is select the horizontal container and enable the wrap. The time you enable the wrap, the form will shrink down because when you select the form, the minimum height of the form is only 250 pixel. Now I want to change that as parent dot height, which means whatever the height of my container, that is what I'm going to assign to my form also. Now, if you play the app and reduce the size of the screen, it automatically wrap the controls onto the next line as per the width of the controls. The beauty with this approach is I don't have to write any formula. I don't have to worry about adding multiple containers on the screen. But the challenge is when you add a form directly on the screen and if your data source has more fields, it will add more controls on the screen. We know when you add a form, each data card will come with four controls. So it is going to hit my control count on my power app. So my advice is unless the data source is very small, do not prefer this approach because it will hit the app control count. This is how I can implement a responsive forms with form control and without form control in Power Apps. I hope you liked and enjoyed watching this video and learned how to create responsive forms in Power Apps. If you like the video, hit like, add your comments. Here is my contact information. I am highly available in Twitter and LinkedIn. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for all future notifications. Have a nice day. Thank you.